So joining us now for more on this, we have Jimmy Lee, CEO of the Wealth Consulting Group. And Jimmy, uh, it's great to have you back on the show. Let's start with valuation, where we're currently trading today. The big question uh, to you is, is the market overvalued at this point, do you think? Well, I think that uh, we've had some uh, very well-known money managers, obviously, came out and, and, and stated that the market was uh, extremely overvalued. And I think that's what helped cause some of the selling over the last week or so. Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, I think possibly the market in general, let's say S&P 500, could be a little bit ahead of itself. Um, investors have crowded into that big mega cap uh, technology trade again. And so, you know, it, we know that the indexes are market weighted. And so those names have been driving those returns on S&P 500. But underneath the overall market, there are still certain sectors that and, and, and companies that are not going to go bankrupt where you can find a lot of value. And you have to look 24 months out. And I think there's a lot of value in some of those names. Uh, my question is, if we want to see this momentum continue, what do we need to see in the market? I guess, what sectors do you expect to see us uh, lead us here uh, with this recovery? You know, again, I just stated that uh, the, the sector that has really led the market recovery is the tech sector and, and, and the big, big cap names. And so as we've seen today, uh, the big news coming out, possibly a little bit of, a, you know, from the conversations about uh, where Fed Chairman Powell over the weekend uh, was talking about how we have more bullets and uh, the Fed's going to do potentially a lot more in the future. That combined with good news with the vaccine. Uh, from Moderna today, I think that's obviously helped, um, you know, a lot of sectors that have been beaten up the most go up. And I think that's because we're, you know, giving in, in confidence to investors that, that want to know when the consumer is going to feel comfortable again being around large crowds. And so you're seeing the sectors that have been beaten up the most, um, you know, sectors that are in the, the industries that travel and leisure, those types of sectors are up a lot today. And so I think that more good news on therapies or drugs, obviously, will help push the market forward higher than maybe the trading range that we'll be in for a while, as well as more government stimulus. And so some of the sectors I think that have been beaten up the most might catch up to the rest of the market. Well, Jimmy, let me ask you about the more uh, stimulus, because that was one thing, like you said, uh, Pal made comments about that last night. He said that the Fed was be, uh, far from out of ammunition. He also reiterated the fact that Congress needs to step up from a fiscal standpoint. What do you think Wall Street wants to see included in the next stimulus package? Well, certainly, I think there is uh, some bipartisan support on some infrastructure you know, spending. So I think we may get that. And also, there's a lot of pressure on Congress to uh, give more money to the states. Uh, we know that states are under a lot of duress right now with tax revenues being down. And, and I heard you talk about universities, and I've been watching some interviews with the heads of universities and, and, and how important that is um, in, in the communities. And so I think you can expect to see some funding for those, for those uh, sectors. And I think it's well deserved. Uh, we've had our, on our investment committee calls with uh, several large asset management firms that do a lot of business in the fixed income area, in particular municipalities, municipal bonds in the last three weeks. We feel confident that there are opportunities there and that we think that states are going to be OK. But really, I think a, a return to active investing, not just in the equity markets, but also in the debt markets is important. And bottoms up analysis on every single bond is important today. Jimmy, what about investor behavior? Because when you take a look at some of the stocks that investors have been favoring, a lot of them have been growth stocks like you've been talking about. That shift there, the fact that investors continue to favor growth stocks, does this worry you at all? It does. Um, some of these uh, valuations on some of these names are um, you know, back to where they were prior to, uh, prior to coronavirus, and that is very concerning. I think it's a crowded trade. And so I would pay attention to valuations and I would make sure that uh, your portfolio is diversified and not too concentrated in any one of these sectors, especially the ones that have been pushed up so much. And I think you will start to see some of these other areas that have been beaten up a ton recover as we get better news uh, on the economy. Let's face it, the economy is reopening. So uh, depending on, regardless, excuse me, of your personal opinion on whether we should be opening or not, we are going to reopen. And uh, I think that investors' portfolios need to be positioned properly for that. And I, and I think that the sectors that are beaten up still the most, that's where you can find the most values. But active stock picking company by company is really important right now. Yeah, and Jimmy, going off of that, I mean, one sector that has been beaten up pretty badly has been energy. It's rallying today. We have crude above $31 a barrel. It's been quite some time since we saw uh, crude trading at that level. When you take a look at that, are you seeing any investment opportunity within the energy sector at this point? Well, my personal opinion is that I'm, I'm happy to see that uh, the energy sector is recovering, and it should have. 
But I think I think at these levels, I'd be a little bit cautious, and I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a little bit of profit taking. Um, the energy sector is going to be, um, I think, dependent on you know how fast um, uh, the investors believe that you know people are going to get back to normal behaviors of going out, driving in their cars, flying in airplanes, and uh, so I think that's going to uh, dictate what happens with energy here in the short term. But as, as much as uh, energy, or as fast as energy fell, uh, going down to the bottom, and it's now going back up, I think uh, there will be a little bit of profit taking. And I think at these levels, I think that uh, I'm comfortable where they're at. And so I think energy will also be in a, a trading range, as I believe equities may be for a while. All right, Jimmy Lee, CEO of the Wealth Consulting Group. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.